Hello everybody and welcome back to the Capital Wasteland. We've just taken care of Dave's democracy in a very positive way. And I fast traveled back to Megaton just to put away some excess stuff because I want to explore a bit more. And let's see, anything else important? I will have to see Alistair, but at the moment... Oh yeah, I decided to keep old painless. I repaired it up a bit because I've been picking up a ton of 32 rounds and... I just, I need something less powerful than my sniper rifle in case, you know, I want to snipe out some, you know, weak guys. Also, I had to fix a bug where, for some reason, flower kept falling through the world. D I don't know how that happened, but it did. Now, I want to go this way for a little bit. I just, I want to explore, discover some new stuff. So, let's see, let's, uh... Well, let's equip this. Perfect vantage point and get a look around. Brahmin, Brahmin, Brahmin. Slaver. I don't think slavers are inherently hostile unless you attack them. Yeah, I'm not harming the slaver, so I should be safe. Just keep the gun ready, just in case. Let me be blunt. Okay. At least they were blunt. Okay, I really don't want to have to deal with that slaver again. And okay, I'm willing to bet there's something over there that wants me dead. Let's see if I can. Always raiders. Now then, let's test out all painless. Since it's a named weapon, that means it's actually stronger than m the common variants. At least as far as I know, there's something different about it. They haven't detected me just yet. A medicine man. Or it's a woman, I can't actually be sure. Let my action points refuel and get a look at this place from an objective point of view. Slaver, I don't care about that. Raider, though, I should pay attention to. Damn it. Okay, crippled his torso, which is good news. Reload. Damn it. Perfect. Okay, let's vat him now. It looks like he might have. Oh, it's a flamer. Okay, not as bad as a grenade. Okay, let's try my pistol instead. Got him. I want to check something about the flamer, because I'm not sure whether they classify as energy weapons or not. Like, I always forget whether there's stuff like the flamer and whatnot, or energy, or explosive, or big guns. Okay, so the flamer, the minigun, and the gatling laser are all big guns. That's good to know. Let's just actually take a look at the flamer. Yep, big guns. I have nothing against that since I'm thinking of tagging big guns because after all the stuff I'm dealing with, I think I want to replace this with a freaking minigun or a gatling laser depending on whatever works best for said situation. In the meantime though, I at least feel more uh, safe than I previously did. Lever action rifle, I've heard good things about. Takes the rounds, of course. 
And the main thing I'm really just taking off them is fingers. To me, the fingers are worth the most off. Well, all these people. Can they even be called people with the way they act? That's actually a good question. Medical brace, and I'll take that just because I gotta get them all. I might actually put points in the melee if I ever knew I was going to use it, but I have no intention to really use it except as more of a last resort option. Oh, I thought that was like a regular fridge. Oh my god, these guys at least had a lot of whiskey. I've developed a taste for this stuff, I'm trying to not get addicted. Okay, hold on, let's... Pugilism Illustrated, a paint gun, a leather belt... Nah, I don't need to go up there, I don't feel like looting. Actually, no, let's loot him. As soon as I can find him, because... There he is. Finger, hunting rifle, I'm good. Now then, what direction will I head in from here is the question. Let's just sort of keep going in this kind of a direction. I sort of want to end up going slit, like a little towards the uh, vault. All that I was told to go to, but I don't really feel like dealing with it yet. Maybe I can find this Paradise Falls and... Well, I may not agree with slavers. As long as they don't harm me, I don't actually care too much. But that doesn't mean I won't help an escape slave or seven. Hunter. That's a nice name. And damn that voice break. But I know for a fact that the hunters, they should be, well, neutral. If I'm wrong, this is going to be very awkward. But by the looks of things, yeah, they should be neutral. I think they might actually be considered like uh, traitors, you know, you could buy stuff off them, but I could be wrong. So I'm not going to risk it. At least things are relatively calm. Nothing's tried to kill me in the last... Fuck. Part of me wants to go there now. I'm not joking. Part of me wants to deal with this death claw just to say I did. Because I've seen a death claw before. But... It was a dead one. So you see my, uh interest is a little bit more oh shit okay well I officially killed a death claw I'm taking the hand and you know what? I'm taking the blood. Their blood looks powerful. The meat on the other hand could... Well, screw that. I think you actually use the death claw hands for something. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. I think I know what that place is. And you know what? I'll fast travel back after all. Because I just realized something. I am not dealing with the... If I think what I th if what I think is here, this is the Death Claw Sanctuary. I heard about this from a friend. And if I'm right, I don't want to be there. So I'm going to go visit Red. Then we head to Megaton. Drop off the flamer I just got. And we're going to see Crowley. It's the hero of Big Ten. I love it when they compliment me. And now, oh yeah, I'm probably also going to put away half this whiskey I've been getting. Good to see you. Red, there you are. What's up? Are you hurt? Heal me up. For you? Seriously, though, all the money I save thanks to her really does come in handy at times. 
See, that wasn't That's so all. bad. Now then. From here, let's just quickly go to the Megaton and then back there. Ah, Megaton. My home away from home. Actually, it is probably my only home at the moment. I am keeping all painless, though. It did come in handy. Might upgrade it, actually, with a extended magazine, but yeah, I'll figure that out later. So let's see. I just wanted to put away the lever action rifle. I don't need that. All painless, I'm keeping... Flamer, Comet Shotgun Keep, I don't need that. Let's see, anything... Oh yeah, let's put away the Death Claw hand... The Death Claw hand in my uh, drawer. Er, and I think I'll keep the blood. Might come in handy. Let's see, also the books I read. Pre-war money, scrap metal. Should have put those away, but I'm, I just keep forgetting to. But, I'll keep a mommy. For all I know, I might just randomly mod them in the middle of nowhere. So let's go find Crowley. This is definitely a valid fast travel point for me because this is a safe place. Let's deal with the Museum of History. Still weird being in power armor. Seriously, just feels weird. Okay, let's find Crowley and get some info out of him. Crowley should probably still be where he was yesterday, or in the past, or hard to keep trying to tell me that days have passed. At least one day, I think. So I'm going to save, because I imagine how this might go. Good to see Hello. You. Well, look, are they all dead yet? Did you bring me any proof? Alistair Tenpenny's dead. I killed him through the head. Good riddance. Okay, I, I killed him through the head. Tell me where Fort Constantine is. Right. You just Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time. Hey. Save and well, are they all dead yet? Uh So the ghoul hater got what was coming to him. Good riddance. Here's your caps. I'll take that key. Alistair Tenpenny is dead. Good riddance. Yeah, I'll the give wasteland you that. is better off without him. Tell me about Fort Constantine. It's pretty far away. Northwest of here. Getting there won't do you any good, though. Not without those keys. Those people you sent me to kill aren't ghoul haters. You weren't supposed to talk to them. You were just supposed to kill them. <sighs> okay. Okay. All I really want are those security keys. Killing them is just a bonus. Just get me the keys and I'll still pay you. I'll even throw in a hundred cap bonus. Deal? No way, I'll just keep the keys for myself. What? You bastard, I'll kill you. Actually, you know what? I have a better idea, I'm sorry. Are they all dead I'm gonna yet? get money for all of them except for Tenpenny and then I'll kill him. You're lying. He's still alive. That wasn't the plan. Right. Yeah, I need at least... You know what? Let's just keep doing this until I get that. Because I'm, che I'm cheaty that way. You're Let's see. It's pretty You fun. know what? I'm keeping the keys. Well, that. What the hell? 
They killed... Who are you? Quinn? I'm sorry, give me a second. Who the fuck is Quinn? Hello. Oh, why, hello there. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Quinn. Uh... Thank you, Jesus. Pleasure to meet you. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around, but I've met a lot of your people in my travels. What's, what's Crowley up to? I might know something interesting if you're willing to pay for it. How about I don't need just tell me? Okay, okay. No need to get upset. Crowley is running some sort of scam. He tried to get me to kill some wastelanders, but I wouldn't do it. Dave is one of them. I've met Dave and he's mighty strange, but he's no bigot. He doesn't hate ghouls any more than I do. Uh, is the Lincoln Memorial anywhere around here? Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. Okay, I need to get going. Bye. Let's save and... Are they all dead yet? Uh... Ten penny, and then tell me. It's pretty far away. Northwest of here. Getting there won't do you any good, though. Not without those keys. Uh, I'll talk to you in a second. Saving. Getting the proper gun out. Are they all dead yet? As I said. You weren't supposed okay. to- Okay. What? How will you? Okay, Crowley. I'll take the stim packs. Your finger. The bottle caps. The magnum rounds. One question is, when it comes to Fort Constantine, uh, crap. I think I have to somehow give him all the keys first. Because I remember they mentioned, let's see, Ted Strayer's keys, Duncroft's keys, Dave's key. Are they all dead Okay. Yet? You're Not yet, but I'm working on it. You're Here's his key. That wasn't the... Yeah. I'll... I killed him I through the head. I have to pay you any... Right. You did me a great favor. Okay. Goodbye, and... I'm not doing... gonna finish this quest, then. I will, because I don't want to give him the keys, but I'm not sure how to get the, I have to get the information out of him. So for now, let's see, where will this take me? Okay, so I got my vaults confused. Little lamp lights over there. Oasis. I sort of want to see what's up with that place now. Sorry if I'm really just sporadic today. Just too many options and not enough brain cells. So let's just disable my current quest. Oh, where would that take me? I just, I just like seeing where some of these will take me. Literally a corner of the world. Not of this world will take me. Oh, not that far from where I was at. Your local wildlife. Honestly, out of everything... Wait, I want to deactivate all quests active at the moment. Oh, it won't let me. I'll have to leave this active till I get something new. So yeah, that was a complete failure. I think I'll come back when my speech is improved. Or I figure out how the hell to do that, because... I, this is one of those quests I got spoiled for me, like a few others. Like, Oasis, I know there's something really cool there, but that's one of the ones that I don't know about. I was just told, you gotta see it to believe it. While for this, I was told you're supposedly able to get whatever's in Fort Constantine. 
and I want it. So the safest place to get to Oasis, which I'm going to set a marker, will be Regulator Headquarters. That's still just hilarious, the grandma with a gun. Just ridiculous to me. And while I'm at it, let's deliver the goods to my boss. Boss? You live the life of a Here you go. Take them all. So many of the good deeds. Okay, I got a little extra money. It's like you don't get much money, but considering the vast amounts of uh, enemies, you can hey. you can get a lot. So now let's go this way. I don't know what I'm hearing. Oh, it's probably that. Vicious pup. I really feel bad about this, but... Don't want to deal with it. That's one of the few times I'm willing to be a terrible person to animals. I should have brought dog meat. I think, late, I think after I go to Oasis, I'm going to go find dog meat. See how he's doing. But I might not be a good idea to say hello to him in power armor. I'll say hello to him in my nice regulator armor. I hate the wild iguanas. I, I want to disable them, but they don't really cause any issues, so, you know. Okay, now, while I travel, let's see if I discover anything new. Since one of my favorite things to do is hopefully find a new settlement to, you know, just because new settlements are useful. Protectron. Crap. Let's get this equipped. Whoops, I actually did not mean to use vats that time. Oh, I keep pressing the, raw, the uh, vats hotkey when I meant to use, you know, the bullet time one. Come on. Good. I want to loot the Protectron because if I even just get scrap metal off the thing, it's helpful. And where the hell did Protectron go? I do not know. Oh well, let's just continue on my way then. Where am I on the map is also a good question. There's Minefield. Definitely avoiding that direction. Oh. Oh wait, yeah, that's minefield. I was already there. Oh my god, that distant terrain. I n it just looks horrendous, I know. I actually know why this stuff looks like this. It's just something called U-Grids. It's set to a pre- like a predetermined amount so I believe it's a certain distance each grid like you can push it but it can really just make your game unstable is why I personally don't try to touch those settings like if your machine can somehow handle it and you can somehow keep it stable it is a wonderful thing to do but if you can't you can't now let's just run Switch to the pistol for a little bit. That factory interests me, but a young death claw. That is never good news. And dead death claw is always good news. Although on one level it's adorable, on another level it scares me. I'm not gonna loot it though, I do not want to go near if there's a mommy death claw. And if there's a death claw right over here, I don't deserve the right just to start cursing things psychotically. Memo to self, consider gettering the gettering, the perk that lets me, how do you say, sprint while keeping my weapon in my hand. 
I don't know why I said how do you say, but okay. A robo brain. Not something I wanted to deal with today. Sorry, robo brain. Not in the mood to deal with your kind. I think the Enclave are sending them here. Scrap metal. Perfect. Let's keep going. Let's see. Okay, that's the place where the death claws were. There actually looks like there's tr a lot of dead trees over there. I'm still a relative distance away, but I am enjoying just going somewhere different. A nice day of exploration, I guess. Although I keep thinking that where is the group of seven death claws I want to rip my head off. I'm not sure if that's overcautious or undercautious. Seriously, if a group of seven death claws came after you, I guess in the base game that would be tough unless you had a. Oh shit. Change weapon immediately to my grenade. Save the Raider, 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 and a young Deathclaw. I'm looking for one who I have a chance of actually hitting. Oh, that worked out perfectly for everyone involved. Except for you. Sorry, sir. The Protectron, damn it. Uh. Got him. There was a young Death Clop there, but maybe I blew him up too or he ran away. Just in case, reload and switch to shotgun. Gotta love just blowing people up like that still. It's, it should be a national pastime. Raider, just, I'm after the fingers, because at least each raider overall will pay me, will technically at least pay me a small bit of money. Probably enough for like a bullet each. And also, probably my best use of grenades is just to get rid of clusters of enemies if I can. A lot of young ones. Oh my gosh, remember the perk. I can't remember if it was a modded perk or a legit perk for Fallout. Not New Vegas, but basically, it lets you have like a base, like a kit, a, a death claw that you can raise. It's one of my favorite mods. It's one of my favorite perks. I do not remember exactly what it was called, but the requirements to get it were you couldn't have any active companions. At the time, I, that was when I was new at Fallout, and I was like, okay, I can get a little buddy. I didn't never saw a Deathclaw before. I did not know he was a Deathclaw until I literally just, you know, Met what until I end up watching a video online about death about like the lore of death claws And I just was staring in shock I was like wow. I got a really powerful friend now. I Honestly thought that was the death clock because I it's using similar animations Okay, looks like I'm Let's open up the pit boy. Should be getting to better range by now. Of whatever is there and freaking sick of bloat flies. Just sick of them. Young Death Claw, Golden Gecko, Fire Geckos. Definitely screwing up my perception and all the iguanas, which I guess would make an interesting challenge. Hmm. 
Okay, Mole Rat, Protectron. Shit. Go away, you stupid thing. Don't want to fight it, but it's forcing me. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, crap. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Please tell me I'm not poisoned and or crippled. Thank you, power armor. Exponentially. Bloat fly enclave iBot. If the iBot blows up, then I know for a fact that the Enclave will be coming. Let's see if we can find this place before they do. This is honestly, I feel like, in my free time, I should just spawn a bunch of them. Of both the iBots and the bloat flies and see who wins. Oh. Oasis is not what I thought it was. Unless that's not Oasis. No, it's not. I think it's something in between Oasis. So I'm gonna have to go around. Maybe because I'm not in the mood to dealing with a freaking The Bloatfly one. Wrong uh, distance weapon. Are you kidding me? Abominable mutant. God damn it, I'm just trying to find a place called Oasis. Now I have to deal with a freaking mutant that's abominable. Well, you know what they say. If I'm gonna deal with it, let's deal with it now. Whoa. Gotta be careful whenever you use a scoped weapon, personal advice. Because you might end up doing the whole you think you're they're safe while using a scope thing, but you're not. And for Christ's sake. I'm I really if those things are I really just want to disable those if I can. And of course, a scorpion right with it. You know what? You're not harming me at the moment, so I'll leave you be. You, on the other hand, I know will harm me, but I don't want to deal with you. So I guess I'll head this way. This oasis place better be interesting, otherwise I'm killing my friend. I love how I have the best chance of hitting that thing in the head. Definitely a lot of trees in this area. Seriously, way more than usual. And seriously, just ugh. Got him. And let's quick save in case there's an army of super mutants ready to murders me. Like, my friend told me vaguely about this place, it was a bunch of trees, and this looks right. There are trees, and it's plural, so I'm assuming this is the right way to go. And no super mutants, so even better news.
Oh crap, please don't be a death. Oh my, it's nearly dead. I just killed the death claw. That was nearly dead. Honestly, I want to celebrate, but my issue right now is what nearly killed it. Take the hand and... Brotherhood Outcast Guardian? That explains what killed it. You know what? I'll take it. If I find this Oasis place, I am immediately bad traveling back to Megaton for about a little bit. What the... Random Wastelander, and I keep staring at the ass, not intentionally. You know what? I'm just gonna let that Wastelander have fun down there. That place does not look safe. Seriously, it looks like an irradiated zone. Okay, looks like there's a corpse, so I guess she can handle herself, or the outcast helped her. Have to be in close to this oasis place. That does not tell me much. I'm willing to bet somehow this is an irradiated pocket, but run, run, run. Called it. It was irradiated. Is that? No, it's just dirt. I thought it was like a secret entrance. Not as exciting as I was hoping today would be. Trying to find this oasis place is tough. Must be one of those places you can only find when you know about it. I don't know why I have this place on my thing though. Because I'm trying to think of like all the locations I've been to and the only one that feels close to like this would be Paradise Falls but that doesn't have the right name, and by close, I mean sounds like it'd be in this kind of an area. Seriously. All I see are rocks, trees, and nothing useful. I'm willing to bet somehow I missed it, so... This is where she was. Maybe it's down there. Because at this point I'm getting desperate trying to find where this entrance is. Because it's personally driving me a bit batty. Because it's somewhere there, but maybe I access it from down here, possibly. Anything's possible at this point. I'm not going to stand there. It does not look right. Are you kidding me? What is the point of this location? Uh, maybe if I talk to you, you'll tell me? Why don't you find your own hunting ground? Lady, this place is irradiated. I officially think I've gone insane trying to search for this place. Okay, you know what? Let's just go back this way. This has been a very unfruitful exploration day, although a few interesting things happened, and I've learned Crowley is going to be an annoying person to deal with. I think I'll deal with him probably in a few episodes, in a few, in a few days. Either after I level up and put a few extra points in speech. Or maybe if I bring dog meat with me. In the meantime, I'm extremely frustrated about this entire place. I'm willing to bet this is some sort of like hidden thing. I mean, you're only supposed to find after you somehow knock the mystical rock of Kajulu or something. I'm on the, the side of the boulder here three times. And then scream, I have a, a freaking blue dragon. Don't go against me. Yeah, I know, I'm being silly, but... Yeah, this should be near the entrance. Meaning, somewhere along this rock face is where I have to be. 
and I have no explanation on where that that someplace should be. I have theories, tons of them, but an actual idea where the hell I'm supposed to go, none. I'm trying to avoid using the wiki as my goal. And right now this is one of the few times I might actually do it just to find a location. Because I'm circling around this place, as you guys can see, and I don't see an entrance. I won't lie, the whole wearing power armor doesn't help much either, but... Yeah. Because I believe I entered originally from here. I think, actually. I'm not sure any... Okay, this is greener than normal. I think I found the entrance. Finally! I had to go in a circle around this place. Green. This is freaking me out. I haven't exactly seen the color green since I was in a vault. Uh, okay, I don't like this. I found it. Outsider, you have arrived. Please come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. Uh. Uh. I'm not sure I trust a random man who says they want to talk to me. I've imagined the situation going in a very dark or perverted direction, and I'm thinking this might just be an easier solution. I think I'm going to take a moment to think about this while I slowly back away.